The London Array is a 175 turbine 630 MW round 2 offshore wind farm located 20 km off the Kent coast in the Outer Thames estuary in the United Kingdom. It is the largest offshore wind farm in the world, and the largest wind farm in Europe by megawatt capacity. Construction of Phase 1 of the wind farm began in March 2011 and was completed by mid-2013, being formally inaugurated by the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, David Cameron on 4 July 2013. The second phase of the project was refused planning consent in 2014 due to concerns on the impact to seabirds. Description the wind farm site is more than 20 kilometres off the North Foreland on the Kent coast in the area between Long Sand and Kentish Knock, between Margate in Kent and Clacton in Essex. The site is mostly away from shipping lanes. The first phase consisted of 175 Siemens wind power SWT 3.6 turbines and two offshore substations giving a wind farm with a peak rate of power of 630 megawatts. Each turbine and offshore substation is erected on a monopile foundation and connected together by 210 kilometers of 33 kilovolts array cables. The two offshore substations are connected to an onshore substation at Cleve Hill on the North Kent coast by four 150 kilovolts subsea export cables. In total 220 kilometres. It is named after London because the power goes to the London grid. The small Ithanet wind farm is to the south of it. The array is intended to reduce annual CO2 emissions by about 900,000 tonnes, equal to the emissions of 300,000 passenger cars. History in 2001 environmental studies identified areas of the Outer Thames estuary as potential sites for offshore wind farm. The Department of Trade and Industry published the paper Future Offshore A Strategic Framework for the Offshore Wind Industry, which identified the Outer Thames estuary as one of three potential areas for future wind farm development. The Crown Estate awarded a 50-year lease to London Array Limited. In December 2003, a planning application was submitted in 2005, which was approved in December 2006. Planning permission for the onshore electricity substation was received in November 2007. In May 2008, Shell announced that it was pulling out of the project. It was announced in July 2008 that E.ON UK and Dong Energy would buy Shell's stake. Subsequently on 16 October 2008, London Array announced the Abu Dhabi-based Mazda would join E.ON as a joint venture party in the scheme. Under the agreement, Mazda purchased 40% of E.ON's half share of the scheme, giving Mazda a 20% stake in the project overall. The resultant ownership was 50% Dong Energy, 30% E.ON UK Renewables and 20% Mazda. In March 2009, the backers agreed on an initial investment of €2.2 billion. Euros. Financing of Phase 1 was achieved through the European Investment Bank and the Danish Export Credit Fund with £250 million. In 2013, in response to offshore transmission owner regulations, the consortium divested the electrical transmission assets of the wind farm to Blute Transmission London Array Limited, an entity incorporated by Barclays Infrastructure Funds Management Limited and Diamond UK Transmission Corporation. In January 2014 Dong sold half its stake to Quebec Public Pension Plan Manager Kess de DE Acute POTA Placement du Quebec. At the time of its construction it was the largest offshore wind farm in the world. Construction and commissioning offshore work began in March 2011. The first foundation was installed in March 2011. Turbines were supplied by Siemens. Wind power. Their foundations were built by the joint venture between Perasleff and Bilfinger Berger Ingenieur Bor GmbH. The same company supplied and installed the monopiles. 
Generators were installed by MPI and A2SEA by using an installation vessel TIV MPI Adventure and a jack-up barge sea worker. Two offshore substations were designed, fabricated and installed by Future Energy, a joint venture between Fabricom, IEMANTs and GOC, while electrical systems and onshore substation work was undertaken by Siemens Transmission and Distribution. The subsea export cable was supplied by Nexons and array cables by JDR Cable Systems. The array cables and the export cables were installed by VSMC. The wind farm started producing electricity at the end of October 2012. All 175 turbines of Phase 1 were confirmed fully operational on 8 April 2013, and the wind farm was formally inaugurated by the Prime Minister David Cameron on 4 July 2013. Phase 2A second phase was planned which would have seen a further 166 turbines installed to increase the capacity to 1,000 MW. However, the second phase was scaled back and finally cancelled in February 2014 after concerns were raised by the Royal Society for the Protection of Birds about its effect on a local population of red-throated divers.